despicable crime against a quadriplegic. A Bay Area home health aide who also worked for the Department of Children and Families has been fired from both jobs. She's accused of stealing nearly $16,000 from a disabled woman. News Channel 8's Ryan Hughes is live at the Orient Road Jail. Ryan, this is a special kind of low. It really is. Good evening. The suspect is locked up here at the jail after police spent months investigating this case. For six years, Josephine Bridges and Shanae Baker were side by side. Baker would stop by Bridges' Tampa home every day to take care of her. I trusted her, and uh, I liked it, the girl, but I didn't know she would do like that. The relationship between the 76-year-old quadriplegic and the pro-med home health care worker came to a screeching halt when Bridges learned Baker stole thousands of dollars from her. Wow. wow. I couldn't think. Shock. Tampa police paperwork shows Baker took nearly $16,000 by charging Bridges' credit cards to a personal account using a Square device and writing checks to herself. I was very surprised because she appeared to me like she was the good Christian girl that she was trying to, you know, she's trying to do right. The victim's daughter explained how Baker put on a good show. She's a snake. She's a snake. Thank That's you. what she is. Baker also worked in a Florida Department of Children and Families customer call center. The agency fired her and a spokesman called her actions heinous. Bridges hopes her arrest serves as a lesson, and she also hopes Baker pays up. I just want my money, my money that she took from me, and she knows she did it. And the suspect's bond set at more than $60,000. Jen, back to you. Ryan Hughes, live at the Orient Road Jail in Tampa. Thank you.